the testament of Issachar, the fifth son of Jacob and Leah, in the testament of the twelve patriarchs, the fifth son of Jacob and Leah, Issachar. The copy of the words of Issachar, for he called his sons and said to them, Hearken, my children, to Issachar your father. Give ear to the words of him who is beloved by mighty God Ahiah. I was born the fifth son to Jacob by way of hire for the mandrakes. For Reuben my brother brought in mandrakes from the field, and Rachel met him and took them. And Reuben wept, and at his voice Leah my mother came forth. Now these mandrakes were sweet-smelling apples which were produced in the land of Haran below a ravine of water. And Rachel said, I will not give them to thee, but they shall be to me instead of children. For mighty God Ahiah has despised me, and I have not borne children to Jacob. Now there were two apples, and Leah said to Rachel, Let it suffice thee that thou hast taken my husband, wilt thou take these also? And Rachel said to her, Thou shalt have Jacob this night for the mandrakes of thy son. And Leah said to her, Jacob is mine, for I am the wife of his youth. But Rachel said, Boast not, and vaunt not thyself, for he inspires me before thee. And for my sake he served our father fourteen years, and had not craft increased on the earth, and the wickedness of men purposed that thou wouldest now see the face of Jacob. Then appeared to Jacob an angel of mighty God of highest saying, Two children shall Rachel bear, inasmuch as she had refused company with her husband, and had chosen contentancy, and had not Leah my mother paid the two apples for the sake of his company, she would have borne eight sons. For this reason she bare six. And Rachel bare the two, for on account of the mandrakes, mighty God Ahiah visited her. For he knew that for the sake of children she wished to accompany with Jacob, and not for lust of pleasure. For on the morrow also she again gave up Jacob. Because of the mandrakes, therefore, mighty God Ahiah hearkened to Rachel, for though she despised them, she ate them not, but offered them in the house of mighty God Ahiah, presenting them to the priest of the Most High who was at that time. When therefore I grew up, my children, I walked in uprightness of heart, and I became an husbandman for my father and my brethren, and I brought in fruit from the field according to their season. And my father blessed me, for he saw that I walked in rectitude before him. And I was not a busybody in my doings, nor envious and malicious against my, brother, my neighbors. I never slandered anyone, nor did I censor the life of any man, walking as I did in singleness of eye. Therefore, when I was thirty-five years old, I took to myself a wife, for my labor wore away my strength, and I never thought upon pleasure with women, but owing to my toil sleep overcame me. And my father always rejoiced in my rectitude, because I offered through the priest to mighty God Ahiah all first fruits, then to my father also. And mighty God Ahiah increased ten thousand fold, he benefits in my hand, and also Jacob my father knew that mighty God Ahiah aided my singleness. For on all the poor and oppressed I bestowed the good things of the earth in the singleness of my heart. And now hearken to me, my children, and walk in singleness of your heart, for I have seen in it all that is well-pleasing to mighty God Ahiah. The single-minded man coveted not gold, he overreached not his neighbor, he longed not after many full dainties. He delighted not in varied apparel, he did not desire to live long life, but only waited for the will of mighty God Ahiah, and the spirit of deceit have no power against him. For he looked not on the beauty of women, lest he should pollute his mind with corruption. There is no envy in the thoughts, no malicious person maketh his soul to pine away, nor worry with insatiable desire in mind. For he walked in singleness of soul, and beholded all things in a brightness of heart. Shunning eyes made evil through the error of the world, lest he should see the perversion of any of the commandments of mighty God Ahiah. 
Keep therefore, my children, the law of mighty God Ahia, and get singleness, and walk in guiltlessness, not playing the busybody with the business of your neighbor. But love mighty God Ahia, and your neighbor, have compassion on the poor and weak. Bow down your back unto husbandry, and toil in labors in all manner of husbandry, offering gifts to mighty God Ahia with thanksgiving. For with the first fruits of the earth will mighty God Ahia bless you, even as he blessed all the saints, from Abel even until now. For no other portion is given to you than of the fatness of the earth, whose fruit are raised by toil. For our father Jacob blessed me with blessings of the earth and of first fruits. And Levi and Judah were glorified by mighty God Ahia, even among the sons of Jacob, for Mighty God Ahia gave them an inheritance, and to Levi he gave the priesthood, and to Judah the kingdom. And do you therefore obey them, and walk in the singleness of your father, for unto Gad had it been given to destroy the troops that are coming up against Israel. Know you therefore, my children, that in the last times your sons will forsake singleness, and will cleave into insatiable desire and leaving guiltlessness will draw near to malice and forsaking the commandments of mighty God Ahia. They will cleave unto Belial and leaving husbandry. They will follow after their own wicked devices and they shall be dispersed among the Gentiles and shall serve their enemies and do you therefore give these commands to your children that if they sin they may the more quickly return to mighty God Ahia. For he is merciful and will deliver them even to bring them back into their land. Behold, therefore, as you see, I am a hundred and twenty-six years old and am not conscious of committing any sin. Except my wife, I have not known any woman. And I never committed fornication by the uplifting of my eyes. I drank not wine to be led astray thereby. I coveted not any desirable thing that was my neighbor's. Guilt arose not in my heart, a lie passed not through my lips. If any man were in distress, I joined my sigh with his, and I shared my bread with the poor. I wrought godlessness all my days, I kept truth, I loved mighty God Ahia. Likewise also every man with all my heart. So do you also these things, my children, and every spirit of Belial shall flee from you, and no need of wicked men shall rule over you, and every wild beast shall you subdue, since you have with you mighty God Ahia of heaven and earth, and walk with men in singleness of heart. And having said these things, he commanded his sons that they should carry him up to Hebron, and bury him there in the cave with his fathers. And he stretched out his feet and died at a good old age, with every limb sound, and with strength unabated, he slept the eternal sleep. And that's the end of Issachar. Thank you for listening.